I know this is truly truly a look right now hey guys what is up welcome to my channel for today's video i'm going to be doing a full face trying nabla cosmetics now if you follow me on instagram you know uh, nabla was so very kind they reached out and they sent me a package of so many more things than i was expecting i am so incredibly grateful i was really excited about this because i've always wanted to try nabla i've been on their website multiple times i've had things in my cart at ulta and this is a brand that I've been dying to try out so I'm so excited they really hooked me up so I want to say thank you so much to Naba for being so kind I've been waiting to do this video I am so excited and of course thank you to you guys because obviously this wouldn't have happened without you so really unbelievable if you're new here hello my name is Morgan I'm your product knowledge enthusiast I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys and oh, just so excited to play with Naba if you don't know what Nabla is, if you've never heard of it, they are a brand that is currently sold at Ulta and Morphe. I think those are the two stores that are most readily available that I personally shop at. And they are an Italian brand. And you guys know how I feel about makeup made in Italy. And you guys, all of this makeup is made in Italy. So I'm so excited. And it's actually very fairly priced. I'm really excited. I want to see if we can get some Italian makeup at a reasonable price. Because you know, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denone. Mona, Charlotte Tilbury, they all make their products in Italy. Let's make myself look like a normal human being now, shall we? By the way, guys, while I'm here, I used to tease this to you guys on Instagram, you saw, but check out this sweater. I do have a new merch design coming out soon. It's gonna be this, but I actually made it so that the lettering was a little bit more bold and thick. But it's gonna look like this, but even more brighter. But anyways, okay, sorry. Really excited about that. I've been wearing this 24 seven. They sent over some of these smoothing pressed powders. By the way, guys, I don't know if I really need to specify this, but uh, this video is not sponsored. I'm doing this just because I'm really excited about this brand. <laughs> so this is what the powder looks like. This is shade light and then also so I'll let you take a look at medium. I haven't decided if I want to use it, but these actually don't look very different. Light, medium. But let's see how this does on the face. I'm gonna use my refer number 19 brush. Oh, that's quite smoothing. Normally I don't care for pressed powders on my under eye. I prefer a loose set powder, but that really smoothed everything out. You guys see that? Okay, let's see the magic happen. Take another look. Now, it definitely does look powdery, though. It's not like this weightless powder, but it really is smoothing. Whew, wow. I feel like that just blurred everything. Like I said, it's not like a really natural finish. Like, you can tell I have powder on my face, so maybe use a light hand, tap off your brush. But that blurred my face. <laughs> Whoa. Obviously gonna have to continue to use that, but first impression, I've never heard anybody talk about this powder, but it's very, very smoothing. Okay. You guys have been telling me when I posted my story on Instagram how amazing these things are, and I was so excited to receive these. I've been eyeing these. I've had them in my cart. So they did send two bronze colors. So these are the skin bronzing powders. So Dune is the one that I'm gonna use today. So here's Dune. There is a deeper shade. This is Soft Revenge. Obviously, Soft Revenge is going to be too deep on me, so that will be a giveaway. But let's try some of this color. It looks so gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so I'm not getting a ton of color from this. It is taking a little bit of digging into, but actually it's building up really nicely. So I don't know if you can see, I am digging into the pan a lot, but the color of it's really nice once you get it on there. I do like that it's mess free though. You're not getting any sort of fallout at all, which is kind of nice. And it's impossible to over apply with this. So if you have a heavy hand or very fair skin, that might be really good for you. And I do overall like the color. I still think I prefer a bronzer that's a little bit more or loose. I don't know. I feel like I have to build this up a bit more than I would like, but the finish of it though is very pretty. Like that looks really good on my skin. I'm going to hold off on blush and highlighter until after the eyes are done. And this is the most exciting part. Nabla's palettes are what I've been absolutely dying to try. I have four palettes to choose from. So we have the cutie palette and this is one 
that I wanted to buy and it was sold out. So I'm so excited you guys see these colors. That is beautiful. Also from this collection, this is one of their newer collections. This is the Metropolitan. So it's a little bit more springy, neutral colors. I feel like I'd go for this palette more. These are more everyday colors for me, but the platinum one excites me. Guys, this is the Dreamy palette. So first of all, look at this gorgeous packaging. Look at these colors. Whoa, that's so pretty. And then we have the Secret palette. So this one has a really nice array of colors. You really get a lot from this one. Also, what I'll probably finish with, this is from their newest collection. This is Miami Lights Glitter Palette, and I love the packaging on this. You guys know I love clear acrylic packaging. But first, before we get into eyes, I am gonna prime. I'm just using some Flower Beauty Concealer, and I'm also going to use their newest product. So this is the newest product that's been launched from Nabla, and this is the Viper Lip Plumper. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't like lip plumpers. I don't know that I mind them. Look how cool this packaging is. Viper Lip Plumper increases lip volume in a few minutes, and it's supposed to last for up to two hours. So, uh, let's, uh... Looks like mine leaked a little bit. Oh, it smells like a lip plumper. It smells like a really strong Too Faced lip plumper. Hold on. I like the way lip plumpers smell though, I'm not gonna lie. Will I regret putting this extra product on? Probably. It's already starting to kind of hurt, you guys. I have small lips. Ooh. Ooh. If you're sensitive... If you're sensitive to the feeling of lip plumpers at all, you do not want this. This is definitely the strongest lip plumper I've ever tried. I don't mind lip plumpers, so like I kind of like this feeling, but also it is definitely stronger than what I'm used to. But even as it's setting down right now, now it's starting to feel good to me, but <laughs> if you don't like that feeling at all, run from these. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what palette I want to work with. I don't think I want to do blue. I want to do like a mauve neutral kind of eye from this palette right here, the Dreamy, because I want to go in with this glitter on top. So that's what we'll do. So we're going to start off with some of Lullaby, and I'm going to put that all over the crease. And of course, I'm ending up doing a purple look, <laughs> always. But purples, I feel like, are such a good way to tell if a brand has good formulas or not, because if you can rock like a purple formula or any colorful formula, then your other stuff has got to be good. So it's always impressive to nail a purple down. That blended out beautifully. I'm not having any problems with that. I don't know if you can see, but very soft, very pigmented. I definitely like that. I'm gonna run a little bit of that color on my lower lash line. Now we're gonna go in with Senorita, and I'm gonna use that to build some depth. So just FYI, update on the lip plumper. Don't like put your tongue to your lips because I kind of just did a little bit and the stingy feeling went to my tongue now. Not enough to really affect me, but I don't know. Some people really are sensitive to the feeling of lip plumpers, so she is a strong lip plumper. But it's to the point though now where it's like kind of comfortable. Like I'm liking the feeling of it. It's slightly painful, but like in a good way. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Delirium right here. Now this is a shimmery shade. I just wanna see how it works. Okay, so so that's not really gonna, uh, it's not working as good as maybe I was hoping. This is probably just a lid shade. It is working, but I'm actually gonna go in with Dogma instead. I think that's gonna be a better color to use in the outer corner. Thought I'd give it a try though. This color is pigmented though. Now I'm going back into Delirium and I'm just gonna pop this all over the lid. Why not? We'll go purple smoky. Okay, so this shade I'm not as crazy about. It doesn't feel as creamy as I wish it would and it's applying a little bit dry to the eyelid. Like you're definitely gonna get some fallout with this color. I just made a mess, I know. Just ignore that. It will be fixed. I'm not a big fan of this color. I'm just gonna go in with Inception, which is the color underneath. And this one feels way better. Yeah. So this color is way better. So Delirium just is not the color for me. But the other shimmers in here seem gorgeous. So I know I look a little bit like punched in the face right now. It's gonna come together, I promise, don't worry. Sometimes purples can leave you feeling a little bit sketched out. I know, I promise you, I will fix this. So like I said, I really wanted to try this glitter palette, the Miami Lights palette, and we're gonna go in with this color. And I'm just gonna apply it straight to the lid. I know some of us don't like pressed glitters. I try to stay away from pressed glitters, but you know, sometimes I can't. Ooh, this is so cool and it's just 
sticking right to my eyelid. If you have a bad look, glitter fixes everything. So, okay, perfect. So now we just have like this crazy glittery, smoky purple eye. I really like it. Again, I know it still looks scary. It's gonna come together. I've done enough makeup in my day. Oh, I really like this though. Obviously I'm only now just using it, but it is a party on my eyelids. Okay, so let's move back to the cheeks really quickly. Three blushes were sent to me. One is not for my skin tone, so I just put that away in my giveaway box. But I do have two blushes. So we have Lola and then we have Independence. I think I'm gonna go with Independence on my cheek today. So I'm using a Refer number four brush. This is that Gelee kind of formula where you don't get any fallout. And this is perfect for blush. This formula is really great for blush because you can't really over apply, which I really like. And it has a gorgeous gorgeous sheen to the skin. Ooh, me likey. And honestly, you guys, I think my lips might have plumped a little bit. I don't normally believe in lip plumpers, but that one better worked because it was kind of, <laughs> it was kind of painful. It looks really, really pretty. Such like a natural flush. Okay, so now let's move on to highlight. And again, you guys were like, you need to try their highlighter. Either that or you've been wondering and you really wanted me to test it out. Two highlighters, let me open her up. So we have Amnesia and then we have Privilege here. Let me swap them. So Privilege is a little bit more champagne. Amnesia has a little bit more gold to it. We're gonna go with Privilege today. Using my Kaleidos H1 brush. Gosh, I'm looking in the monitor and I look so crazy right now without any lashes on in this dark eye. Wow. That's really pretty. I can see why so many people rave about this highlighter. Let me try it on this side. I feel like this is a more natural highlight. It blends seamlessly into the skin. Now it doesn't smooth texture or anything, but what highlighter does, you know? But it's not emphasizing it in an unflattering way. If you really like a seamless highlighter, this is seamless. I see no lines. You can't see where it was applied. You just see the glow when you turn your face. This is really, really nice. Completely different formula from a lot of the formulas out right now that I've tried recently. I really, really like this one. I've been, so many good highlighters have come out, you guys. I don't even know what to do about it. But yes, this is another very nice one. This one's a little bit more on the natural side. So I'm gonna spray my face with some Mario Badescu. Kind of let that settle in, press the powder in, all of that good stuff. And we're gonna move on to liners. So I have a couple of different liners. We have this Cereal Liner, which is a precision liquid waterproof eyeliner. And then we also have some pencil liners. So these are the Cupid's Arrow. And so these guys are like thick, liners and they're very, very smooth. You have a nude color, black, eggplant, and then a brown. So these are really awesome. They felt very soft, great for smudgy liner. So I'm going to take the black, it's called arrow number four of Cupid's Arrow Black Liner, and I'm gonna line the rim of my eye. Wow, that applied super easily. Super creamy. Not sure how longevity will be with this. This seems to be a very good texture for smudgy liner. Again, I'll have to see if it sets down. Let me put it on my hand, but it's extra creamy or as like a black all over base. At least it could be used for that because it's very, very creamy. And while that's drying, we're gonna use a cereal liner, which looks like this. Okay. So this isn't the best liner. Oh, actually. I like how precise the tip is, but I will say it is having a little bit of problems going over the glitter part, which a lot of eyeliners will have. That's not abnormal at all. So they did send along a mascara. This is the Volume Extension Mascara. So I currently have a lot of mascaras in rotation right now, so I don't want to open another one, but they have bomb packaging. I love this nude packaging. I'm going to save this for a later date just because I don't want to open another one. But they do have mascara. So I'm going to do liner and lashes, finish up the eye portion of that, and then we'll move on to the lips. But you'll see, this is one that looks going to take a complete 180. All right, you guys, so it is time to move back to lips. Little update on this. I think it did plump my lips a little bit, but you have to like lip plumpers. You have to. So I have a few different lip products to try. We have everything from liquid lipsticks to cream lipsticks to glosses. So I think we're gonna start off with a liquid lipstick. Let's see what colors we have. So they sent me a red shade and like a mauve shade. So, so Adam's Dream and then Vicious. Let's see what lipstick colors were sent. The packaging is just so dreamy. These have that like velvet finish. So this by the way is Masterpiece. This is not that velvet finish, but that's a red shade. This is Nolita. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Take a look at Lust. Oh yeah, let me get some lip liner. I'm gonna take this plumper off. 
I'm using Iconic Nude from Charlotte. So it's not like the smoothest, creamiest lipstick, but I love this color. Now I will admit, maybe it's just this color in particular. You guys know how I always talk about Italian formula lipsticks are the best. So this doesn't have that Italian <laughs> feel to it. I mean, it is made in Italy, but it doesn't feel like a Charlotte Tilbury or a Pat McGrath or anything, but it's still fine. And I love this color. Okay, so now these lip glosses, I think, have the best packaging I've ever seen. Look at these. I absolutely love this top. So I'm going to use the shade District. The other color that I have is Champagne Supernova, which is a gorgeous copper glitter. But these have a regular doe foot. And ooh, this is such a unique color. I love it. It has like a little bit of like a mustardy undertone to it. Ooh, mm, this is one of my favorites. It's super glossy and not sticky at all. Okay, cool. So give me one second, let me clean up and then I will be out with the outro. Here is the final look. I really like it. I am in love with the eyeshadow. Okay, wait, so let's just go over everything that I use, my thoughts, all of that. Now, first and foremost, obviously everything was a first impression. So I do have some playing around to do. So the first thing that I tried today was a smoothing press powder. And I think this is an underrated product. I've never heard anybody talk about their powder. So smoothing and beautiful, you guys. I would definitely use a lighter hand with this. I wouldn't pack it on, but it did an amazing job. I can't wait to continue using this. This is so good. I feel like I found a hidden gem. The next thing that I used was the bronzer. I don't think this was my favorite product in the world. The color was really nice. I just felt like I had to build it up a little bit too much like more than I would like I think if you have a fair complexion look into this formula it's really hard to over apply now it looks really nice and seamless on the skin and I like that you can't apply too much but I do wish I could have gotten a little bit more color to start off with this it also is really cool though because there's no fallout so and then after this we moved on to the lip plumper so this is a serious lip plumper this is definitely not for everybody my lips are still tingling and I've taken in it off and everything but I really do feel like I did get a little bit of a plump there it kind of comes to at what price you know do you like the feeling of a lip plumper if you enjoy the feeling this is an intense one you might like this one if you're very sensitive to lip plumpers stay far away from this like far. All right, and then at this point, I did move on to the eyes. There's a lot more palettes that I need to dig into, but the Dreamy palette, I really liked it, but I really did not like this shade. I felt like this basically ruined the whole look, if I'm being honest, but everything else was very creamy, very smooth, blended beautiful. Even these shimmer shades, I could tell they're gonna be fine, but this one felt really dry. It didn't stick to the eyelid. It fell all over my face. So this shade is definitely a dud in here, and I do want to continue playing with this just to make sure that this is is the only shade that I've had problems with but every other shade worked out beautifully and I hope that stays consistent throughout the brand with the exception of that one shade the rest of the formulas were beautiful but I definitely have a lot more palettes to continue playing with of course but so far so good so then the other product that I used on my eye and of course time will tell what I think of this, if it makes my eyeshadows crease, if it falls in my face. But the Miami Lights palette, so far, I really loved it. It saved my look from that bad shadow. And I really like the different sizes of the glitters. I didn't need to apply glitter glue. It seems to have adhered very well. I don't see my shadow creasing yet. So I think this one's a really fun one. I know with New Year's coming up, you might, well, it's not really coming up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> this is a great New Year's palette. And I think this is a bomb pressed glitter formula. There's some where at this point, the eyeshadow would have already creased. This feels like it dried down. I think they have a really nice formula. I'm super excited about this. I didn't get this because I didn't think I liked pressed glitter, but they have a bomb formula. Next up, we have the blush that I only use the shade Independence. I really, 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 really like this blush. Where I didn't like it as much in the bronzer formula, I like this formula for a blush. Same goes for the highlighter. Now, I've been dealing with some really good highlighters lately, you guys, but those are like $50, $60, the highlighters that I've been dealing with. So this is a super nice highlighter. I really like it. It gives a very nice, natural, seamless glow. I do think that you can build it up to get it to be a little bit more beaming. Oh yeah. So don't think you can only get a natural look with this if you like that extra shiny cheek. This is a good highlighter. Cereal liner. I have to say not the best liner that I've tried. I did like the applicator. It was very, very precise, but it didn't 
didn't go over the glitter well and I feel like even if I was just wearing regular shadow it's just not as black as I like my liquid liners to be of course we'll have to see how it wears because if it's an amazing wearing liner then that changes everything but upon initial application it's just not as black as I like the two lip products that I use today the lust lipstick it's a nice lipstick I do love the color I don't think it's a super special formula by any means but it is still nice but this Gloss was one of my favorite things that I've tried in this video. I highly recommend the shade District. I find it to be quite a unique nude color. Super glossy looking on the lips, not sticky at all. If you hate the feeling of a sticky lip, this is the gloss for you and I just think the packaging is spectacular. So, so if you're watching this video and you made it to the end, what I would highly recommend the gloss, the highlight, the blush, the glitter palette, the powder. Okay, so these are the top five products that I've tried today. So like pretty much everything that I got. The eyeshadow formula I still wanna play with. I'm not comfortable with highly recommending them now, but looking at their color stories, if the formulas match up to the good formula in this, then I will end up recommending these, but I definitely want to play more. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, a big thank you to Nob for sending me these amazing gifts. I had a really great time. It was really fun to finally try out your brand. I've really been wanting to so bad. And overall, it turned out pretty good, pretty good. So that's all I have. I will see you guys in the next one. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do so. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.